China's in a really interesting situation. Just 30 years ago, China was mostly rural farmland, and today it's undergone one of the largest urbanization uh, infrastructure build-outs the world has ever seen. The lifestyle changes are very, very dramatic. If you think about, we used to wear sort of this drab blue and drab olive green, and now everybody wants to be Kim Kardashian or Paris Hilton, and they rush into a Chanel store and they think they just buy a whole outfit and that's how you go out dressed in the street. Well, this vacuum is very dangerous because China has basically been blindly following a Western dream, the bling dream, something that's really pursuing false idols. What we really need to do is take the best of the East and the best of the West and blend them into a dream that's not only good for us individually, but good for the planet. So a China dream has to be a green Chinese dream. Well, China has 15% of the world's population of children um, in primary school, so 94 million children. And they will basically dictate the future of China's food systems. Uh, even today, China's children are undergoing one of the biggest obesity epidemics in the world. And diabetes is also an economic issue. It's not just a personal health issue. If you think about the world's population of diabetes, it turns out that even though China has one-fifth of the world population, one-third of the diabetic patients live in China. So China's issue with food is not just a China issue, an individual child's dilemma. It's also a regional dilemma, an economic dilemma. But because emissions is, the, food is the single largest source of emissions in the world, the amount of meat that's being eaten, the amount of uh, increased meat that's being consumed is going to impact the world. The amount of imported food coming into China as Chinese middle class wants more and more luxurious gourmet foods is going to impact the world. So it's of utmost importance that we get Chinese children to eat in a way that's good for us and good for the planet.